All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. This is the Einstar Rocket. Again, this is the Einstar mid-range 3D scanner. Requires a fairly robust laptop, 32 gigs of RAM, about, a, I think, a 3060 card, NVIDIA. Um, I wanted to do a PCM real quick. This is running at 8x speed. I wanted to get a quick scan of a PCM so that I can print some different brackets for a couple different projects I have coming up. This has been a pretty invaluable tool for me to do this kind of stuff. Usually you'll have to come at the scan from a couple different angles. So I did one side and then I did the other side, flipped it upside down. Um, what you see here is me trying to align. When I did the intake, I was able to do it automatically and that worked. But this time it's not. So I have to find a view that's in common. See, I have my inputs to the left and I'm selecting my scanners or my markers. It lines it up. We knock the extra stuff out of it. Um, I kind of struggle with this portion a little bit. I'm still getting better at it, deciding which view to look, but I got it. This tool has been really, really handy, and it's going to continue to be handy as things go. You know, we have a K20, we have an LS4 runner, we have an 8.8, .8, um, lots of stuff to do. So see, you just lop the top of the scan off there where it was sitting on the table, and it doesn't matter because the data backs it up. If you look close, you can see where the scan says Delphi Automotive Technology or Automotive Systems. You can see where the top of the PCM says blue. Like, that's how accurate it is. It missed some down in the deep areas. It's not a big deal. If it was a big deal, I could make it work with the different lines. It's been very, very good at reaching inside things. And, of course, I can fix the model if I need to, but I actually just need the uh, bolt pattern off the bottom of it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what else you want to see scanned, and we'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.